Hi everybody, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and it's good to see you. I hope you've had a good week. Well, I had a full week myself and I'm still busy and I'm missing all of you. This week, YouTube um, dropped a bomb on all creators that work outside the US of A. I won't bother to go into details, but if you would like to know, um, then I suggest go and have a look or listen to the podcast titled What is Google YouTube doing to their foreign creators? It is outrageous and it is um, unfair. So that will explain uh, what I'm talking about. I will be doing a video, I will be putting out a video next week with all the changes that are being made. You will also notice that uh, all the videos do not have um, adverts in them, except that YouTube still puts one in, I think, in the beginning and at the end, that is not me. But the rest of the video is advertisement friendly. So, um, demonetizing my videos. If you would like to support the channel by giving a donation, then please use the information in the description box or have a look on the main page in the right hand corner. There you can see all the links to all the media channels that I have and you can get in contact with me through that or you can get the address to make the donation. I will also be starting the competition pretty soon and I'll, that will be spread all over the other media channels uh, for the Shadow, Shadowlands or the White Witches Terror, like I've promised. Unfortunately, things have uh, been different than anticipated, also because of the COVID. Everybody knows that everything changes just like that. But let's go to your reading for this week. And this week it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. And I hope you enjoy it. So let's switch the camera because I'm going to show you the cards. Let me know if you like me to talk to you like this and show you the cards this way or whether you like to see the cards all in one picture. Um, because I want to or would like to adapt to what the viewers like. Thank you. Please like and share and I hope you will click that button to subscribe. Take care and be blessed. Thank you. Hi Gemini, I've been shoveling the cards and I hope you are well. This is your reading for the 15th to the 21st of March. Right, let's have a look. If you would like to see any of the cards, have a look at the review deck. Okay. Ooh, we've got the Magician. So you are in the picture. Or there could be another Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Magician. So, the Magician means to me uh, you hold the key to the answer of the situation or the question at hand. So, be transparent, be clear, don't create any illusions, then you won't have disillusions. There could be a prominent Aries around you or an other Gemini. This could also be that you are in the picture. Let's have a look if you are in the picture anywhere else. So that's the energy, magic. You can create your own magic. You've got all the tools that you need within you and around you to get things done. The first card that you come in is the Six of Cups. Perhaps you're reminiscing about the past. Uh, perhaps you're thinking uh, about the past in good way or in a neg negative way or both. If you're thinking about negative things, then learn from them and let them go. It's easier said than done to let something go, I know. Um, but 
you know, you have to make room for the new and let the old, old let the old go. Also, if you're thinking about good memories, then don't hang in the past, but take it as an example, take it as a message from your higher conscious or from the divine, saying, create great and new memories now. Since you've got the magician, it's number one, and that means new beginnings. There is a new beginning for you this week. So if you used to go out and picnic or you used to go out uh, with a, a best friend or anything like that, or going to a club, then start doing that again, but in a different way. Learn from the past. Let go of what is not net positive and let the positive come in the new come in. Then on Wednesday you've got the Queen of Swords. You could be remembering about a Libra as the Queen of Swords represents Libra but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius. So the, the Queen she's got her emotions under the control. Perhaps you remember how you couldn't keep your emotions under control in the past because I see a lot of water and I see a stacked up uh, of cups and the stacking of uh, stacking up of cups means that there might have been a lot of reasons that you were unhappy or shed tears learn from it my darling In the past you can't change you can only change the present and the future and let your tears go learn from it. I, f I feel that you have control over your emotions at this time, but it's still perhaps sore. Perhaps you lost a job or you lost uh, uh, something else. It could be a pet or it could be a loved one and you're remembering the good memories about that person or you uh, got divorced and you're remembering how marriage used to be like uh, the good times and the bad and why you got divorced so let those memories go if you've got a new person in your life now then learn from the past and uh, don't compare the present uh, with the past let your emotions go, speak your mind, because the Queen of Swords also stands for communication and wisdom. Use your mind sharply and clearly. You can do that, um, but you only if, if you are in communication or doing business uh, or talking, then show your emotions by all, all means, but keep them under control and let them go if necessary show your emotions at this present don't hide them that's the feeling that i'm getting as well cut straight through to the core be direct but watch out what you're saying and how you say because a sword cuts on both sides if you want a new beginning and you want to leave the situation then leave make a decision but you don't have to be sharp about it just say come to the point and say it i don't know why i'm saying that but that is what the queen of swords usually does she's thought things through she knows the letter of the law she knows that she stands for truth and justice and she will tell you what she thinks and how um, she th sees things it could be an other person it could be a libra another gemini or an aquarius so I know that when the swords go to swords, then it can be really vicious and it can be, it's like the five, and what I'm seeing is more or less the five of swords warning, not the queen of swords, because you are, you can be sharp and to the point. Be careful what you say and what you do, because if you're too sharp and it is the five of swords, if you're going to have major arguments then learn from the past. Perhaps that's what happened in the past as well. But like I said, somebody could be coming back from the past and giving you a present. Or uh, this could also be an apology, um, giving you a present. So be careful how you react when somebody comes back from the past. 
if it is with somebody um, that you've met and hooked up and then learn from the past please try to be gentle but truthful you've got the magic like I said you hold the key to something wow on Friday we have the death card and the death card means that you are in transformation it means that you're leaving an old face behind and you're going into a new face so perhaps you're discussing this with a Libra you could be discussing this with a Scorpio since the death card also um, represents Scorpio so there's a new beginning it's up to you if you want this beginning could also be with an Aries or an other Gemini okay be true to yourself that is what I'm hearing don't cut yourself away then you will feel left out okay now um, a transformational period to a new uh, beginning it's time for you to spread your wings you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly so stretch those wings and fly fly high and reach for the sky that's what I'm hearing you also have at the weekend the five of pentacles perhaps you are worrying about money not having enough money perhaps you feel out of sorts or you feel left out of a community or out of the a uh, circle of family or friends well you can do something about that you can communicate like the Queen of Swords and you can sell ice cubes to Ec Eskimos Gemini and you can talk your way back in or join another group perhaps you have outgrown a group because of your your intelligence your your sharp vision on and perspective on things the truth of things you are not a person to be monopolized you're not a person that can stand BS you can't stand a uh, children or childish attitude you want people to speak to you um, in a with a, in a respectful fashion and treat you as respectful as you treat them after all treat those the way you want to be treated okay so that's quite a clear message you can join and perhaps you've outgrown a group and it perhaps you are it's an idea or time to join a new group if you need help with finances this is like the church window um, it represents municipalities or institutions and then seek help ask for help even if it is a family person a family or a friend don't shy away well you've got the sun lying on you you are in the spotlight when uh, people there could be a Leo noticing you because the sun is represents August and that is Leo okay you could be also uh, uh, you might also have a question or you might be in a situation where you need help and you need advice to get things clear all your ducks in a row that is what I'm hearing do your research because where there is a spotlight there's also illumination so by doing your research you can also ask help perhaps from a, a, a lawyer or a, an accountant something somebody in an institution or an in, uh, municipality this could also mean that you m could be moving home okay moving away from where you were in the past definitely uh, you could have stayed behind in an old house and you're moving away into a new one you could be going on holiday to a warm country that could be a birth of a child or of a new project if you haven't had work this could mean a new job if you wanted to get pregnant then this is the fertile time as the Sun means fertility growth um, you're the star you're the in the spotlight and you're being noticed for your clarity for your honesty for your no BS you don't you cut you don't how do you say that 
cut to the chase. You cut to the chase. You're direct and you let people know what you think. Now you've got the fish. So this could be in business. Okay, this could be in business. You've got the fish. Three and four, seven. That is luck. And you've got one and three here. That is four. So there is a proper foundation now. So just go with the flow. Okay, that is what I'm hearing. Um, and you could be going, you could get promotions or taking your partnership, romance or otherwise, business um, uh, up to the next level. The fish also means luck, that you are able to work in groups um, and don't be the one that does all the work. Learn to delegate. Learn to delegate. Okay. In delegation you'll get more work done. You can work well in groups. But say it in a direct manner but in a gentle manner. You'll catch more fi uh, more flies with honey than with vinegar. And you've got the coffin again. Big changes for you Gemini. And it's lying next to the coffin of the tarot. So that is again transformation transformation you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly so it's time for you to spread your wings make your own magic happen okay now let's have a look what we else we have be careful of sly analytical people be careful or be like the fox and learn from the past don't let anybody uh, mistreat you or cheat you. Um, learn from the past. Be clever. Wait until the time is right to pounce like the fox. The fox just sits there and wait and then jumps on his prey. But it seems that this week you are going to take that leap to pounce on what you want. Work precisely, like you've got the magician. Be precise. Um, work to deadlines. Cross your T's and dot your I's. Do your research. The illumination showing you must do research. Don't believe everything everybody tells you. Okay? There are things perhaps your gut feeling is saying something is not correct and you are walking away. You're cutting away. You're in a... Um, alarm is sounding don't 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 listen to it don't pass it by now the fox can also mean that somebody could be have an eye on you and cheat on you or be cheating um, they might want something that belongs to you because you're the star you're the spotlight and they could be jealous of you and they want to be in the spotlight and they're trying to uh, shake up your world. Don't let that happen. But it could also be that somebody's keeping an eye on you to see whether you work to the deadline or not and cross your T's and dot your I's. That, in that case it could mean the promotion. Luck. Okay. So be alert. Forewarned is forearmed. Don't let the past back or don't let the experience of the past come into your life now. Now, is somebody going to cheat you? No. That's the answer of the angels. You have learned from the past. You're not going to let um, anybody take the... Um, uh, I was going to say a Dutch uh, metaphor. We, when you, uh, when you have something on your sandwich, you, they're not going to take the spread of your sandwich. That is what we say. So you're not going to let anybody take anything away from you. That is yours. You've learned from the past. Perhaps you're remembering that. You're more alert um, as to uh, I get to hear astute. You're more astute now and you have learned from the past. Wow. Uh, you've got the coral angel feather. Show a friend you care today. So if you 
have left a group or you feel left out of a group then perhaps there is still a person in the group that really loves you and really wants to know what is up with you and if you do love somebody specific then let them know today how much you love them the angels understand the importance of friendship and ask that you may make an effort today to remind a friend how loved they are perhaps this is the moment to test the one of the people in the crowd that you have left or that you feel left out tread carefully because the fox is here but I think it won't be that bad because you've got these new beginnings, these new beginnings and you are in your own power. You know the truth, you, it is your truth perhaps, but listen to your intuition. That is all I can say and everything will be fine because the sun is shining on you, you've got the luck card in business and you are being seen learn to say no okay be precise in what you say don't um, speak with two tongues I think the fox could be somebody that's speaking with two tongues the untruth um, so be careful of hidden signs I hope you've enjoyed this reading just be aware don't just look in front of you but look what is happening around you and listen to your intuition take care and have a wonderful week thank you